just doing a test, testing one, two. Can everybody hear me okay? Let me know if you can, please. Testing one, two. Hey, Sue, can you hear me okay, hon? One of my business buds. Am I coming through okay? Susie, can you hear me? Oops. Let me know if you can hear me. I have two watching, three watching, just checking. Can you guys hear me? Okay, the volume's low. Okay, let me see if I can hike it up a little. How's that? You can hear me, Alyssa? Is that any better, Sue? I hike it up, then I get this clicking background noise. And I'm trying to do away with that. All right. Good evening, everyone. We're going to get started. Um, I have a spiral, uh, well, it's called like a sunburst. Okay, that's good. Um, it's, a, it's a sunburst um, grapevine wreath. And I had a friend of mine give me this sign. She had won it in a raffle. And she thought I might be able to do something with it. So I'm going a little out of my comfort zone here tonight. But it says stop and smell the lemons. So we're going to be decorating it with lemons greenery, flowers, filler, and I already mounted the sign, but I want to make the bow because the bow is going to determine where I'm going to go on here with the, uh, the lemons and the greenery and such, okay? All right, so I picked out a few ribbons. Because I like pink lemonade, I'm actually going to be adding these pink and white daisies. Um, along with the lemons and a variety of greenery, but I thought I'd start out with um, the yellow ribbon that has the black dots. And because I'm adding pink, I really like this pink stripe, so I'm going to add that in there too. Right now I've got my um, loops at six inches and the tail at almost 20 inches. I want it long, but I'm going to also be cutting some off, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. So, I want to start on this side. First, I want to get my length. So, how's everybody doing tonight? The lemon sue I got at um, Sims. They actually, 
see if I can find it here. They actually come on a swag when you order them from Sims. And the ribbon, Alyssa, I also got at Sims Pottery. You have to be tax exempt to order from there. Um, Sims Pottery, I think it's the one in North Carolina. But, yep, yeah, started it wrong. I want one loop on this side this time because we're going to end up with two loops on that side. And we want one loop on this side. But I like pink lemonade. So I thought it only only natural that I add pink to this. Okay. So I've got two loops on this side and two one on this side along with two tails on this side. I'm doing the Lisa bow is it? Is that what it is, Sue? So? <laughs> and then I have this ribbon that has the um, lemons in it. It's got the brown and the green. It's got some little white flowers, too. So I thought that would be pretty to add in here. Our town is going a little crazy. The next town over, President Trump is coming into town. So, and for those of you following Little Miracle, I just weighed her and she's up to 15 ounces. So, she has really Turned the corner, I think. I'm afraid to say it because I'm afraid I'll jinx myself. Okay, then I thought I'd add this green in. Because it matches some of the greenery. It picks up some of the green from the sign. It picks up some of the green from the ribbon with the lemons on it. I'm dropping down about a half inch after each one. Not a whole lot. Because I want the bow to make a statement. Got my ribbon twisted here. This is one that's hard to tell which way it is. But go a little shorter on those tails. Hi, Belinda, welcome. And then I thought I'd throw this one in there because it has the green, it has the pink. And I even have a little purple that I might throw in there and there's purple in this. Plus I think it's a good contrast with the sign and the other ribbons. We're doing a sunburst grapevine wreath tonight, Belinda. I'm gonna add some florals to it. And lemons. And like I said, each time I'm dropping down about another half inch. Thank you. Like I said, I want to place my ribbon first because then I'll know whereabouts um, I'm going to start with the florals. I don't know. I don't know if that, if those, I don't know, does that look too busy with that in this? What's your opinion, everybody? I mean, the colors are in there, but I don't know if that's just too busy for that. Huh. 
I'm not liking it now. So, what can I swap it out with? I don't know. I could go with a different yellow. I think I'm going to go with a different yellow. Because... Okay, we already got stripes. Because this uh, ribbon is kind of um, satiny. And that ribbon looked too flat with it. So I don't know. I could go this. I think this is the better of the two. I'll put it on there. We'll see what we think. Yeah, I maybe you're right, but I don't have any solid pink. Oh, wait, I think I have one that might work. I don't know. What do you think? This? Nope. That's not looking right either. Maybe this one. What do you think? I'm not. I'm not sure I like that one either. <laughs> oh, there we go. Or we could just be plain with polka dots. Yeah, Linda, we have Swiss dots on the bottom. Now, I do have a smaller Swiss dot yellow, but I don't know that I want to do that. Um, let me see. Let me do one more check. I don't have a solid green. What about this one? Or does that look too... There's a couple to choose from. That has pink and purple in it. So you like this one then? In there. I think this one is going to work better. Isn't that something? You look at those, you know, not on top of each other. They look fine. And then as soon as you put it up to it, it's like, eh, eh, that didn't work. All right. We're going to go with the polka dots. That'll tie in. That'll look all right. All right. How's everybody's night going so far? Good? Yeah, I think... I think that was a good choice. I think had those flowers been smaller, it would have worked better. I just think um, it wasn't going to work. No problem. That's why I have you guys to help me out. All right. Well, that was the funky bow. Is it? It was kind of nice here today in Pennsylvania. Okay. And where'd I 
put my wire. I'm going to put that in there before I tighten it too much. Now, Lori, hardworking mom, I'm in her group. I asked it about this wreath on our call yesterday because I've never worked with one of these wreaths. And she said, yeah, I worked on one of those. She even has a tutorial on YouTube. It's called a sunburst grapevine wreath. And what she did was she had a lot of pipe cleaners all around here and she put mesh all around and then took real tiny flowers and had them all the way around the wreath. It was pretty. Um, she had it, it was purple deco mesh. Um, she had a small bow down here. So basically what I was trying to do was figure out where my bow was gonna be and where I needed to start my arranging. And it looks like if I start above the wire that's on there, um, I should be good. Now I'm going to start by placing, usually you can start with your greenery and work your way around, but I'm going to go this way out. So I'm going to start with my lemons. And like I showed Sue, they came in a swag from uh, Sims Pottery. The leaves and everything are already on there. So I chopped one up and we're gonna start, work our way around and stop at the other end. So I think because it's going this way, I'm gonna take all my lemons and go that way too. And these are nice because they've got um, wire on them. So I can just dip them and place them. Same here too, Sue. It was nice today. About time. Because this basement has been cold. <laughs> okay, so if I go this way, I kind of want to go this way. And see, I have my sign wired here, but with all that I'm going to be placing, it's going to cover some of that up. So, I thought I'd start with the bigger ones at the ends and then kind of work my way around biggest to smallest. Um, there's even some little tiny lemons. And they really look real, too. They've got the little dimples and everything. Let's see. I may put that in there. I'm just going to stick it there for now to see if that's where I want it. Got a lot here and some leaves. you think of summer, doesn't it? Summer and lemonade. What? I think that's too long. start at this end. I'm trying to figure if I go all in the same direction, will I be able to push them up in there? I should, but I don't know. I kind of like it like this. What do you think? Let me just place some around and see if we like it there.
this one has a leaf on it. Maybe I'll go with one of these. You know what, I think it's easier if we go in the same direction because of the way the twigs are. So if I do it in a circular motion, I think I'll be able to, yep, they're going in better if I do it that way. All right. What else I got? I'm just going to place some and see if that's where I want to go with them. This one's being stubborn. I want one with more on it. it has more. Too long. Really, what's it like in Nebraska? like that. Now we'll throw in some little lemons around. Don't want to say Florida in this house. My husband wants to move to Florida and I don't. <laughs> I don't want to be far from any grandchildren. Feeling bad for the people like in Texas and uh, in um, Oklahoma right now. Let's cut this a little shorter. How's that looking so far, ladies? I don't know, we got one here that's lonely. But I think if I put it there, it's too much. So, maybe I'll, I'll use it.
Okay, I've got a lot of leaves here that are left over from the lemons. I'm going to try and incorporate those. <laughs> I did it first, Sue, but then I um I started blowing. I actually did a dry run with it yesterday to make sure the greens that I had chosen looked good. And I just had regular daisies. And then I decided to add in some pink um, daisies. So. But I got all kinds here. I've got some ficus leaves. I've got some white greenery. Um, different variations. I thought I'd build out and go from there. I've got some big leaves here. that in there and cover up the wire on that. I've been wanting to do a lemon one for a while, so I'm glad. I was going to do something else for tonight, but you know how somebody gives you something and then it just kind of sparks your, your creativity? Well, that's what this was doing. I was sitting there saying, use me. So, we're using. I wasn't either, so, but I, I joined the other Soul Sister Circle, and I'll tell you what, um, Watching Doreen has been an inspiration, and I've watched um, I've watched um, Lori do a few, and I I really am I really like trying. Um, I want to get more into it. Um, my mother passed away. In August, it'll be three years, and this is this was her passion, and um, I saved all her her wreaths, and I've been taking them apart like at holidays and stuff, and removing some of the old and adding new and giving them to the kids for presents, um, something. They're getting something from her and something from me, and I, I really enjoy doing it. I just wish that I would have done it while she was still around, because I think I could have learned a lot from her. And this is my new easel. Um, I made a wreath for a girlfriend for a fundraiser, and her husband... He does woodworking, and I showed him what I wanted, and he made it, and they finally brought it last week, so I really wanted to uh, work with it. Yes, they are strong women. Now, because the next layer I want to bring out, this is... This, the ficus will be last. So maybe we'll place some of the flowers now. Let's do a dry run with those and see where we want to put some pink. Hmm. 
They're not laying like I'd like them to. Maybe I'll just put... And some of the stems are too short, so let's, uh, let's fix it. That's a good place for that one. That's a shame. It's a shame to let that talent go to waste, you know? I just want little hints of pink. How about that? Jean, how are you? Okay, so. Jean, do you have a storm door and a regular door? Oh no, snow squalls. Holy cow. Did you get everything? Got everything to bring back? It's not going up far enough. It needs a stick on the end. Shove it up in there further. 
When do you think he'll be back, Jean? Jean's moving her things back from Oregon to come here. She's been here, but now she's bringing her stuff back. They're not laying. They're not cooperating. So let's grab another bunch. Maybe this one will do better. Friday, okay. Aw, oh, thank you. Marty said she was going to be late, so she's not on yet. I think she had yoga. I'll tell you what, this is nice because then I can see where I'm low and where I need to be at. Well, you be careful, Jean, coming back. And when you get back, if you have a storm door, I have a new uh, a new wreath method. It's the um, pancake method, and what it does is it's small enough. Um, the wreath is only like four inches wide, so it fits really nice between the storm door and the outside door. So we could keep those birdies away from eating your wreath. Jean was in one of my classes and she made a beautiful wreath and the, the birds picked it apart. These flowers need pressing. There we go. Yeah, do we need one there? No. All right, let's start building out some of the greenery. Alyssa, yes, I planned on it um, because a lot of my customers, I hold um, wreath classes in my home. So a lot of my customers want to, um, they have storm doors. So they would really like to see um, how it's done. It's, I did post on my site, I had my um, daughter-in-law and her mom here last week. And her mother made one, the bee wreath, and um, it was less than four inches thick. And she took a beautiful picture of it. She she takes really pretty pictures, and she sent it. So that's not up high enough for my liking. There. See, that's a nice contrast. I know, right? And and see, anybody that lives up north, that's the problem everybody's having. Um, that theirs does the same thing. And look at poor Jean. She spent all that money making the wreath in my class, and then the birds tore it apart. Yeah, Millie yeah. Mel. Um, is the one who created that method. And Lori showed it to us in class the other week. And I'll tell you what, that was just what my customers have been wanting. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing it. In fact, um, 
when I was showing Diane, it was the first one I had done. Um, so, but yeah, it turned out really nice. And we even took a side picture of it. And the side picture was only like less than four inches. So, not only that, you're you're using less mesh. Um, we actually did the first row and put the tails on it, and then we did the second row and then added um, like some basket weave mesh to the top of that, and then the tails. And it even supported a nice um, ribbon too, you know, and it was still small enough. So, so yeah, I think it turned out really good. And like I said, up here, that's what everybody wants. They want to put it between their screen doors. So... We'll do one. Um, I've been trying to do two lives a week. One on here on Mondays and one on YouTube on Wednesdays. So if you go to the top of the comments, um, you will see the link to my YouTube channel. And if you go and um, hit the, the bell to subscribe, it will alert you when I go live. And it's usually, I usually try to do it Wednesday afternoons. Around, um, around 2 o'clock. But um, it'll be on there and you can look at it any time. And actually, you're just using 10 inch mesh, not, um, not the 21 inch. So... Which that saves you also. Oh, thank you. I'm just kind of eyeballing it to see if I need any anywhere else. Thinking one more. I'm thinking maybe right here. Yeah. Now I have some of these just to kind of give it a little dimension. I have some small. No, I'm not liking the small flowers, but I'm thinking this I even have some yellow and I even have some leaves with just little viney like things but we may be out enough that I can stick the ficus in now and then fill in the rest so let's try that wanted to kind of bring it out follow these twigs I know I've said this before but I really like my shore bonder um, glue pot Let's 
sorry, my back is to you. Liking that one there. Obstructing the lemons. Pops better there. All right, now, see now I got the ficus up there and it's darker, so I can put that stuff behind there. Hi Dawn, Dawn is my business buddy. I got a couple of business buddies. We've gone out of our comfort zone, Dawn. We're doing it. Dawn, look at my new reef easel. Isn't that neat? I made a reef for a friend, and her husband does woodworking. And I said, okay, I'll make the reef, but I want to know if your husband will make me a easel. So we swapped. And this was a sunburst reef, grapevine reef, so we're following the contour of it. And I decided to add the pink flowers because I love pink lemonade. So I thought time to put some pink in there. it down. So we got some ficus in the back and some of those. Now a few of these yellow ones I'm going to put in there just for a little pop of color. So I don't know if this is the way to do it, but I like to do things symmetrical, so I'm kind of anal about that. <laughs> so you guys need to go over and like Dawn's page, too. She goes live every Wednesday. 
Now, I've got these little, um, this little greenery left over with this spiky greenery. It was actually from a daisy um, bunch that I got. So, we're just going to add another bit of dimension. Dawn, don't forget to put your business page on there, please. So everybody can like your page. Share it. <laughs> well, maybe I should just um, trace this on a on some paper and send you the 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 uh, template down. Think that'll get them going? If we did it that way, well, then all you have to do is trace it and cut it out. What do you think? And for those of you that have been following Miss Miracle, my waiter tonight, she's up to 15-2. She's almost weighs as much as the other puppies that are two weeks older than she is. <laughs> so she's gaining ground. I mean, she's the only one nursing off of mom, so she's getting all the milk. I'm watching her. She was two weeks old last night, and usually at two weeks of age, um, they their eyes open. So, oh no, my phone's about to die. I gotta run up and get my cord, guys, because I don't want to lose ya. I'll be right there. Okay, sorry about that. It's been a long day. There we go. All right. Put a shorter one down here. Yeah, and this is getting stringy all of a sudden, this glue. Okay. How's it looking so far, guys? You see any weak spots? Are you still getting the echo back on? need a longer one right there. Not gonna stick on if I put a longer one in there. There, let's try that. Ouch. There. All right. Well, we got some of these spiky things. 
but they'd add a different dimension. Can you see me now? Did you lose me? What's it doing now? Okay, all you can see is the white curtain. How's that? It'll be a delay. So give it a minute. Is that better? Ah. These little squares keep interfering. All right, let me uh, let me try moving the camera up. Is that better? It's like this Mevo all of a sudden has a mind of its own. Maybe I must have hit something when I put the plug in. Sorry about that. No telling. I'm so technically challenged, it's not funny. I love my glue pot, but sometimes it really starts getting stringy. And see, look at that. Everything's kind of covered up the edges where the wire was. All right. We'll put the bow on. I left this open down here um, because I wanted to put the bow there. And I didn't want to cover it up with greenery. I'm looking to see if there's anything I forgot. It really isn't. I have some of these, but I think that's going to be too much. So, we'll pass on that one. I have some little lemons left over. I don't know. Maybe I could stick a few in the front in the bow. Maybe I'll do that. Shouldn't have pulled it so tight right away. I'll get another zip tie and I will cut that one. I will have this in there where I want it. And I can trim it. Hi, Marty. You missed Jean. She was just on. They went through a snow squall today. They're bringing their stuff back from Oregon, which I know you know, but I was just letting the other people on know. And I'm just about done, Marty. But you can always watch the replay. Getting ready to put my bow on. We did a spiral grapevine wreath, or sunburst it's called. You 
Yeeha. There, we got some little lemons in the bow. You see it? All right. Let's really pull it tight. I think I'm going to fluff it out on my fluff box because if I start fluffing it out on there, I might end up pulling the wreath down. So. I did a Lisa bow with only three loops and two tails. And we've got start out with six inch loops and then brought it down to like four or was it five and we've got three at two and a half inch and two at one and a half inch some lemons in the middle. And I like the pink. It's just a little pop of color in the bow. And I think we made the right choice. Harless. We're going with polka dots. Got some stubborn ribbon here. It doesn't want to poop out. Yeah, that's better. I see if I'm moving, losing any. She didn't miss it, Jean. She can watch it on replay anytime. It'll be there. Oh, yep. Don't forget to watch on Wednesday on YouTube. Because we're going to do the pancake wreath. Alyssa wants to see the pancake wreath. And the pancake wreath fits between your door between your house door and your storm door. There we go. Like I said, we got some stubborn ribbon in here. Doesn't want to go the way it's supposed to go. All right, let's dovetail. And Jean, if Marty was making this wreath, she wouldn't need my help. 
She does awesome when it comes to florals. she got an all-natural knack for that. Right, Mark? Let's finish this off. You know what? We need one more down here. There. All right. Let's get this baby on. Need to do some adjusting on my bow, but what do you think? You're so welcome, Marty. The sign in the middle says, stop and smell the lemons. It's a simple sign that one of my friends won in a raffle basket, and she thought of me. She thought I could use it. So that prompted this whole, um, this whole uh, arrangement. So I wanted to use the sign. I think this one doesn't look good curled. Yeah. I know, it was cute. It was cute of her to think of me. You've been in class when Shuri has been here. It was Shuri. The one whose son was just adopted. Well, they adopted Amari just a couple weeks ago. He's such a cutie. I can't wait for his adoption party. Get the 
this to the back. I think this bow is going to have to be moved over some, a little to the left. Just a little bit over. Yeah, it has to be moved over just a little bit. Thank you, Alyssa. I appreciate that. I still might have to add just a little there. A little of that green and white stuff. This. I think that's what it's missing that and then move the bow over just a little more and that'll be good so I'm not liking how this is sticking out but if I move it over a little it'll be even on both sides so well there you go guys we're done and we ended up with a little bit of lemon. See, it has to come up just a little bit, like right there. Right there would be perfect. So I'll work with it a little tomorrow and get it up there. Okay. Woohoo! Another one in the books. Anybody have any questions? Alyssa, I used just hot glue sticks. And this is what I use now. Thank you, Dawn. It's a glue pot, and what's nice about it, it doesn't get hot. That if you get some on you, it doesn't burn. My other one always burned me. I, in fact, I got second-degree burns from my other one. It was horrible. So... And thank you all for being a part of it and helping me out with the ribbon because that ribbon just wasn't going to cut it. So I really appreciated the help. All right. Well, I will, I will cinch that ribbon up and over a little more and then um, I will post pictures tomorrow. Um... So if anybody has any questions, I know I always keep aloe on my table in a little glass jar and I had it down here the time I burned my fingers, but I couldn't get the jar open fast enough and it really sent my skin to bubbling. It was awful. Okay. You too, Dawn. And don't forget, you guys need to go over and like Dawn's page. So, Dawn, why don't you post your uh, page on here for us? Okay. And then look for me on YouTube um, Wednesday afternoon. Probably around 2. 
And I'll go ahead and make a pancake wreath then. All right? All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to spread the love. I appreciate it. Good night.